All right. So, Jerry Falwell, I don't know if you've been following this. And I, I, I apologize, but I get a lot of satisfaction and glee when one of these holier-than-thou evangelicals gets caught literally with their pants down. And, uh, and Jerry Falwell uh, has just uh, done that. So it turns out that uh, Jerry Falwell and his wife befriended, uh, about nine, ten years ago, befriended a pool boy at the Fontainebleau Hotel in uh, Miami, hotel I've stayed at before, and uh, that they basically have been carrying on an affair over the last uh, ten years, whereas this uh, pool boy has sex with Jerry Falwell's wife while Jerry Falwell is watching. A little weird. You know, I, I get it. You, you did once, maybe. It's kind of interesting. You want to, yep, yeah, but, but no, this is a regular thing for, for like years they did this. Uh, it's been verified, uh, and Falwell is indeed out of Liberty University. He is no longer, he is no longer with Liberty University. He has resigned. Um, he, uh, you know, Jerry Falwell is the guy who really pivoted the evangelicals towards Donald Trump when he endorsed him in, uh, in, during the primaries uh, four years ago. Uh, his wife runs a big pro-Trump uh, conservative organization. So these are big, big uh, Trump supporters. But this is not about Trump. This is about an evangelical icon, uh, the son of, of Jerry Falwell. Uh, this is Jerry Falwell Jr. Um, doing something quite, you would think, unchristian. Now, I know, I know. Christianity allows you to sin as much as you want. It allows you to then beg for forgiveness and God will forgive you as long as you recognize Jesus Christ as your savior, which is a beautiful idea, right? Really, this is a fantastic religion that allows you to do whatever the hell you want, violate whatever principles you have, as long as you say sorry and as long as you recognize the guy on the cross as your savior, you are fine. Everybody's okay with it. But this guy ran a university. It's just, it's just a, it's just, you know, with the, 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 the holier than now evangelicals drive me crazy, crazy. So um thought if you hadn't read that, you would find that entertaining. Uh, and um, and uh, another reason not to like the Falwells, but in, in and, uh, you know, he's out of a job. That's good. He's not going to be he's not going to be exposed to young people at a university promoting his uh, version of Christianity uh, anymore. That's good. Frank says, that's not Christianity. All right. I, I didn't say it was. Don't care if it is or it isn't. It doesn't matter to me. It, what matters to me is the hypocrisy, the, the you know, if somebody, if somebody else experiments a little bit with sex, then I'm sure the Jerry Falwells and, the, and, the, uh, and all the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the evangelicals come down on them and denounce them and reject them and uh, give me a break. Um, I don't know what... Christianity's view is with regard to I think Christianity's pretty monogamous. Um, Judaism not so much. Judaism is fine with uh, with polygamy, but and, and with uh, sex is much much more viewed as a positive thing in Judaism and Christianity. It's viewed as a negative. So I guess anyway, this is this is what it boils down to, and this is what our moral shining lights in our society uh, are engaged in. And you know, again, not criticizing activity, although, again, doing it over and over and over again over years is a little weird, a little weird. Yeah, with the poor boy. All right. Anyway. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes that should be at least 100 I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it but but at least the people who are liking it you know I want to see I want to see a thumbs up there you go start liking it I want to see that go to 100 all it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing whether you're looking at this 
Uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>